Hello, my name's Harvey Park. I'm uh, 45 from Manchester and uh, I've been following Anna Breeze on her Facebook page, which I've found very interesting indeed. Uh, I just thought I'd share my experience as we're, we're moving into uh, the uh, probably the second phase of this virus, which is uh it's changed a lot of views on things for a lot of people i mean for myself i was diagnosed with uh, multiple sclerosis uh in october uh i struggled well i couldn't walk when i first came out it was like having a stroke i couldn't walk uh it took me a little time before i started uh you know trying to get that help out there which was just after christmas uh, what I found with the uh, with the virus, it was very difficult because uh, uh, obviously there was a massive, massive backlog. <laughs> you couldn't get any help out there. Uh, the likes of yourself, the likes of physio and different things like that, uh, just not not been able to get that uh, since the lockdown. Uh, when it comes down to you know disability benefits or anything like that, it's just been impossible to get through to these places. Uh, everything's just been blamed on the virus. You know, six months down the line, I'm no further on. Uh, luckily for myself, uh, you know, I've got the right medications, but again, you know, it's all been done over the phone. I've experienced, I mean, it, anyone who takes any medication for these neurological, you know, illnesses will know there's some massive changes uh, once you start taking all these tablets and a lot of them I've had to kind of fend up for myself and go wow is this the way I feel is that the way I'm supposed to feel uh, you know until you finally work everything out uh, when it comes down to face masks I am absolutely disgusted in people turning around and saying you have to wear a face mask uh, I, I I can't get it in my head. I really can't get it in my head that the the people would even turn round and accept a voucher for going into a a restaurant uh, from the government. They can get it half price, but they don't have to wear a mask when they're eating. But to go and order it, you have to wear a mask or whatever. You know, it just so totally confuses me. Uh, again, why we're allowing pubs and different things to be open, uh, but not, uh, you know, personal gyms and different things which might help people like myself, you know, try and get uh, uh, rehabilitated. It's just been quite uh, soul destroying, being honest with you. Uh, some of the rules and regulations are just. I think they've confused everyone. Uh, in different con you know parts of the country whether it be northern ireland uh scotland wales england there's been all different rules everybody wants to be the person in charge of their country no one wants to work as a team and collaborate and when it comes down to uh i don't know whether i should mention that just now but you know when it comes down to these vaccines again like face masks this should be a personal choice if they start making these mandatory uh i'm ex forces i was in the forces for eight years uh and i wouldn't like to be the person if they're called upon to start making people take these vaccines uh like you know the president said in the usa you know i fully support him over there in some of the actions he's taken uh, i do believe he's the right man for the job over there although a lot of people don't he's done quite a lot in America when it comes down to uh, some of these elite organisations is challenged and, and put in jail. Uh, he has stuck to his words and he's done that. But for the UK at the moment, I just hope for one minute they don't start making these uh, vaccines mandatory uh, and forcing it upon people. And I urge every single soldier or person I know in the military if that comes to the day where you've got to stand there and you've got to force these on people that you put down your tools and just say yeah I don't want any part of this uh, I hope every single person I know does that just like the police did when the Black Lives Matter uh, you know protest started they got on one knee showed 
uh, respect for it hopefully the same respect will be shown when it comes down to these vaccines uh, it's all he's hearsay at the moment uh, but I want to speak my mind because it worries me it worries me for my child it worries me for everybody else out there uh, that we've got a real bad uh, history when it comes to vaccinations you're going to need to you know go into the history of it and i can't understand in my own head you know with people like me with multiple sclerosis or with neurological illnesses which you know at the moment there's no actual cure for uh, and especially the likes of cancer where billions has been made every single person you used to see running in marathons and running events every supermarket you went into people were raising money for cancer but yet we've still no cure for that but yet we can create a, a vaccine within three months uh, and and force it upon you know everyone because it it gets through all these loopholes absolutely none of it makes sense uh, but that's my rant for the day hopefully it doesn't make me look like a bad person uh, but uh, everyone have a fantastic week